All right, we rolling now. We rolling. What's good with your OBT sneakerheads? Back at it with another reaction. And today's topic in the sneaker game, I don't know if y'all been hearing the news, but they're trying to ban us, buy, ban us resellers. So let's see what my boy, um, hold on, put my face right here. My boy Sneaker Invest talking about, as he say, why Nike banning resellers won't affect me, new method. So let's see what kind of methods he's gonna um, bring to us. Let's see what he's talking about. I see that Nike's trying to ban us. I don't know, I haven't read into the article like that, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna go over everything. So let's see what my boy's talking about. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So earlier today, I got a lot of texts from people that I know basically saying that sneaker reselling is dead. Like friends and family, they just messaged me and they're like, look what this says. Nike is going to make it harder for resellers to resell. The first thing that came to mind honestly was, I mean, absolutely nothing. Because if you guys have known me for the last four years that I've been on YouTube, you guys all know that this would make no difference for me because I get everything for resale either way. I've never gotten anything for retail, pretty much. I've never really got anything. I got all these pairs. Sheesh. Now that's something right there. But I don't see how, like, basically, like, how Nike's going to ban the resellers. To be honest, like, let's keep it 100. All the resellers are going to be banned. I highly doubt it, but I don't know. But let's see what was my boy talking about with the new method. For retail, never bought it, never camped out. So the fact that Nike is not allowing resellers to resell the pairs that they buy would not affect me whatsoever. And I'm sure it won't affect most of you guys if you guys have been doing the same reselling method that I do for the last couple of years as well. As you guys all know, most resellers typically think that getting stuff for retail will make you the most amount of money. And I think in the last couple of years, we've seen that it is not the best way to make money reselling. I've seen multiple botting YouTubers who literally pull in, I mean, like a couple, like couple hundred a month, like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars a month botting, which in my opinion is crazy because I know yeah. hundreds of other people who pay resale for their pairs, whether it's quick lips or holds, and they make thousands of dollars every single month. And to kind of explain to you guys, after Nike sells a shoe for retail to, let's say, some random person who they think is not going to resell, they have no say whether that person resells it or not. And typically the person who's going to get their hands on it, who they think is not going to... That's very true valid point because like, what if you get the shoe and then all of a sudden you're like, you don't want the shoe no more. So it's like, how is Nike going to like, look at your profile and be like oh this guy's a reseller or and then this guy is not a reseller but what if this guy that's not a reseller he don't want the shoes and he like makes some money off the shoes because he don't want them you know what i'm saying he's not gonna return them to nike but he knows he can make more money and he can use that on like bills or something you know extra cash like lunch money or something so that was a valid point right there let's continue on gonna resell it most likely won't understand market that well either way like he probably won't sell it for the high and so that's where we can all come exactly and literally just lowball hundreds of these people who are selling the shoe that they got for retail you know for a bit above retail or whatever the amount it is and resell it for more this is a sneaker reselling method that i have literally been doing for probably the past like four or five years like i just mentioned to you guys if you do it consistently every single day you'd make i thought it was like a quote unquote new method you know what i'm saying but this is something usual that people do like resellers do we either buy for retail or resell and quick flip it from the resell or re buy for resell and then hold it so this is not a new method but let's see what else you gotta say far more money than you would buying it for retail and another thing that really doesn't make sense to me is i feel like nike is only making it worse for them they know that they have plenty of shoes that resellers wipe out for them and you know buy all stock that is all true increases too. the hype for nike the less supply and the more demand there is the more people want that shoe and it only puts more brand awareness on nike which i mean they already have more than enough brand awareness but it only puts more brand awareness for them for future releases to come so like let's say if a jordan one goes for 
$500, most likely people are gonna to wanna to buy the next Jordan 1 that's gonna go for retail and so it's gonna sell out instantly. Whereas now, we all see Nike can barely sell out of most Jordan 1s and most of them are hitting the outlets. And so in my opinion, they're only making it worse for themselves and honestly better for us because- That is very valid, what he's trying to say. So, what he's trying to say is like, Instead of playing that resale price, like you seen that uh that picture you pulled up of the Obsidians, instead of playing that resale price for six hundred, hold on, yeah, instead of paying that resale price, hear me out. Instead of paying that resale price for six hundred, like you were saying, like people are gonna intend to buy the next Jordan one, but they're not gonna pay six hundred dollars for that Jordan one. So the next Jordan one is gonna hit for retail. And it's gonna sit like it you can get it for retail but it's gonna sit in the nike outlets so you get a below retail and what he's trying to say by nike is it's really hurting them in the long run and it's really helping us out us resellers out because we could f get them for below retail and hold them within like five to ten years from now and you can make that resale value so i see what he's coming from but i just don't know what nike's coming from i i just don't know what what, what kind of movement they're trying to like like trying to do it just don't make sense to me like you're losing customers you're gonna block out resellers they're the ones that's really up in your um how do you say it really open your uh your capital for your your company so it's just like i don't know what they're doing like I said, if you think about it, we're buying for resell and we're reselling it for more. And to kind of dive deeper into, you know, if you're new to this channel and you've never done that before, I'll explain it to you guys. Like I just said, there are hundreds of thousands of people who get stuff for retail and oftentimes on that shoe that they get for retail has some sort of resale value. But most of the time, they don't know where to sell it for the highest amount. Typically, they're selling it on Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, eBay, and all these different platforms where typically they're not selling for the highest amount. And when I say the highest amount, I'm talking about selling on local consignment, bigger consignment, private buyers, and stuff like that. So what you can do on a day-to-day -day basis is simply just go on all these platforms like I just mentioned, source as many pairs for resale. Look up different keywords, look, go on Facebook Marketplace, look up Jordan 1, look up Jordan 3, Jordan 4, Jordan 5. Start to learn the market. Learn what they go for if you buy them for resale and resell it for more. Let's say you go on Facebook Marketplace here and you do Jordan 11 bread, right? And there's obviously gonna be a bunch of them. Some of them are gonna be used, some of them are gonna be new. If you don't find it, you know, you can obviously go to the next one, but you will find a lot of Jordans just in general on here. And typically here, they're selling it for, you know, honestly, 50 plus less than what you could get on most consignment shops. But you guys all know, like, you do this often, you'll find a lot. So as we can see, this 2014 Carmine 6, 6 Stadium Goods 2014, and we click right here let's hope it's 2014 and we go to size 12 they don't even have a size 12 there's no size 12 as we can see and all the other listings are going for 500 600 300 so if you come back here he only wants 235 you could literally just tell him i'll give you 200 he'll most likely take it you put him on here on this website you go to sell and consign it you could literally list this shoe for like 500 lower than most all of them and it'll probably sell even if you listed this shoe at let's say 350 and then after the fee you get like 280 or 300 i mean you're still making close to a hundred dollars if you get this pair for 200 even if you buy it at this price you still make money so like i said you can do this day to day 24 7. you can literally source every single day and let's say you make 50 dollars, the lowest amount and you find 10 pairs just like that that is very valid right there, what he's talking about. So I like how you brought that up. A lot of people don't know that. You can go to these, like, consignment shops, your local consignment shops, and, like, get a percentage out of them. Well, they take a percentage out, probably, like, 12 to 15% out of your, um, your shoe. So you get them for, say, like, get them for retail, 
a hundred dollars, and you sell them for four hundred. They're only taking out like, what is that, twelve percent of four hundred? Let's just say it's like roughly around like fifty bucks. They're taking fifty dollars or you think? Out of four hundred, that's three hundred fifty. Out of a, you made two hundred fifty dollars profit. But I like how he brought this one up because, as he was saying, like that Jordan Six Carmine Twelve is going. For, he could get it for two hundred. You can sell it in a consignment shop, at, but that's an online consignment shop, so it's more trafficking. It'd be easier. Unlike a local, this is a consignment in uh online. So you put it on there, list it on the Stadium Goods, StockX, Go, and you sell it for let's just say four hundred instead of three hundred, like he was saying. They only gotta take like ten, like twelve to fifteen percent out of your your profit. So that's like. You're only taking fifty dollars out. You're making two hundred. You're making one hundred fifty dollars profit around that range, one hundred twenty to one hundred fifty, which is still good. And like you say, if you had ten pairs, that's like a thousand. That's a thousand dollars profit a month. So you're making good money. So I like how you were saying. I like his key points. That's really it, to be honest. That's really it because. This is a new method. It just really he just refreshing everybody's memory on everything. He don't want let let people like lose their hopes of reselling. That's basically what it is. That's what this video is. That's all it is. In my opinion, that's what I see it as. I don't know if if I can see through it. I'm just reading between the lines, and um, it's really not that hard. Like retail, I still got shoes back here. I can list them all on consignment shops. I got dunks, dunks right here. Um, some Jordan fours, some gray school militaries. Got some new powder blues. Yeah, I can't even see on top, but I also got those up there. So it's really. Ace. When I first started sneaker game, I had like at least ten pairs. Now I got up to like forty pairs. I used to only have like yeah, like I was saying, ten pairs. So that's really good. I remember one time I hit on the Jordan 4 Oreos. This is when fours weren't popping. I hit on the Oreos. I hit at least 20 pairs. 20 pairs. Retail. Sold them all for like 250, 275 each. Men's men's size. Actually, I know those shoes are like 400 plus now. So that's something to learn. Basically, biggest mistake I made in the uh, resale game. But you live and you learn. Here to uh, tell y'all that you can make good money off this reselling game. But yeah, you made some valid points in my opinion. New method, new method, I should say. New method. Um, Very valid points. Y'all can check him out. Sneaker investments. He makes some good investments. He makes a lot of dunk investments, Jordan 1 low investments, Jordan 4s, etc. You know the game. But yeah, y'all check him out. He has 130k subscribers. Big old um, subscriber uh, fan base. I check him out and let me know how he, he did on his new new method but i just wanted to he's basically just refreshing everybody's like like reselling like methods and stuff which is pretty cool but yeah yeah let me know how you're feeling about this reaction pretty cool pretty cool video but don't forget to like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and always keep your shoes fresh too